Hi guys, this is a new video of introduction to parallel programming. So far we've talking about direct methods for integration. We talk about regular integration, trapezoidal integration and Simpsons integration. This time I will try to explain a little bit about Monte Carlo integration. This is the simplest case of Monte Carlo to calculate an integration over an area in two dimensions. <clears throat> so far we've tried to calculate a quarter of circle and well Monte Carlo is basically a relation between a given area and the area we want to calculate. So suppose we have an square. It's one one unit per side and inside this square is the area of the circle that we want to calculate. What Monte Carlo basically do is to shoot random points in this whole square. So we're going to shoot some random points in all this, all this square. Since it's random and we'll try to do a uniform distribute random points, uh, we want the area, so we're going to make, try to make a relation. This is the total area. Is equivalent to a total point. And the circle area is points. in the circle. So we will have a relation here, right? So the area that we want to know, the circle area, it's equal to the total area multiplied by the number of points multiplied by the number of points in the circle and divided by the total points. So this is how we find this area with Monte Carlo method. So we've seen in this example that we should random points in the whole square. Of course this area is not really important for us because this is going to be just to give some some fixed area and it's easy to calculate for us. So we're going to make a better approach. What happens if instead of using a whole square we'll use two rectangles. So this is the area we want to calculate and now we can make two different random shoots, one for this rectangle and other another sequence of random points for this second rectangle. So we are <coughs> we are uh, avoiding this calculation of this little rectangle that we don't need so much because at the end we we don't need to consider these points. So let's see some example code of this. So this is the code we're going to use. Is very similar to the previous code we have seen. You have the 
the original pi value to calculate our errors and this time we're going to use a uh, n value that uh, tell us the number of random points we're going to use remember with more random points we have a better precision of our pi value why because with more points our random tend to be more uh, uniform distribute points so this is going to be a, a good relation of the number of points in the circle and the total points we are shooting so we're going to parallelize the the whole inter iteration of the, the points so in, here in line 47 we have a for loop that's going to distribute uniform in all the processors the number of points we want to calculate that is n so basically we generate an x and y value using the random library of c and we make a counter of the points that are below the area that we want to calculate in this case this is the, the curve x square plus y square and acum is the is our counter of the points that are <coughs> that are in in the circle so finally we're going to zoom make a, a cumulative zoom with all the the, the 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 partial value of the processors and finally here we make a make the relation we we see before this is the total point in the circle and the total point in the square so we are uh, we're calculating only a quarter of circle we multiply it by four and this is the error so this is the the code for the basic example using the whole square so this is basically the code the the modification we showed before it's just make a little change in our four so we can add a condition here if the x value is in some some boundaries in some interval of the rectangle or we just simply use two four iterations and two random sequence to calculate the points in two rectangles uh, i'm going to give you the link in the description of the video to my github repository with some a modification of monte carlo code to get a better precision or a better performance using always using always this this mechanism we're going to reduce the area or transpose and not use area to a part of the circle so you're going to find a better uh, explanation watching the code so hope you like it and see you in the next video